traffic is picking up as Gauteng's holiday makers are heading to the coast and other destinations in the country for holidays. Now, transport officials are concerned about the dozens of accidents taking place on our roads since Saturday alone. Just to get the latest update, now we're joined via Skype this morning by ER24 spokesperson Russell Mayring. Russell, good morning and thank you very much for your time. However, not a pretty really picture that's emerging already from our roads. We're getting all kinds of details coming through from different parts of the country with a number of fatalities already, a number of injuries. How bad overall is the situation at this stage from what you are getting, uh, Russell? Uh, good morning. Well, as you said, unfortunately, it's not a very uh, pretty picture that has been painted. Uh, we have responded to numerous incidents um, around South Africa. A lot of them have um, involved fatalities. There's been a couple in the Western Cape where uh, two were killed and seven others were injured. We've responded to numerous incidents uh, involving drowning. Uh, there were, I know there was uh, three people that drowned in Limpopo this, this past weekend. So unfortunately, we, we're seeing the, the death toll rise. Now, this is a, we're talking about roads, deaths as well, but you also, you've just mentioned uh, uh, deaths in terms of swimming pools. There were also reports of people uh, drowning uh, on, on, the, on the coast. And uh, I don't think, uh, well, we don't know, but uh, this time uh, we will be appealing for people to really take care because uh, as we're heading towards Christmas Day and there's New Year, things might really get tougher. Absolutely. This is generally only the start of the festive season and the start of the holiday season. Um, so... Hopefully, we don't see these numbers rise, but we have seen in the past that um, as we get closer to Christmas and New Year especially, that these numbers will rise. Um, the number of people flocking to the coastal regions at the moment is on the, the increase. We've seen, um, especially down towards uh, KwaZulu-Natal, those highways are, are already starting to become backed up to traffic due to the amount of people moving down there. So, uh, especially around your, your beaches as well. New Year's is a, is a very big time for us. Um, we've made appropriate plans to start putting extra resources on the road just to try to accommodate all the patients that we may see. Now, from an emergency perspective, what kind of basic advice would you be giving to people if anybody's listening now to say, listen, please take care? What would be the basic advice you'd be giving? Well, especially to the motorists who are driving these long distances from here to KwaZulu-Natal uh, to the Western Cape, um, obviously adhere to all the rules of the road. We have... Um, seen an increase in the number of motor vehicle collisions that have happened in a lot of these containing uh, fatalities. So stop every two hours or 200 kilometers. Um, under no circumstances should you drive under the influence of alcohol or any illicit substance. Um, make sure that your vehicle is well maintained. People generally forget this. Uh, you can get a, a 52 point checkup at any um, garage or vehicle uh, check system. Um, make sure that if you're down at the coast or at a uh, resort, Make sure that you can swim and do not, again, swim under the influence of alcohol or any illicit substance. Um, swim where there are lifeguards. That is also a very big one. A lot of these drownings we've seen have happened at bodies of water where there are no lifeguards or no friends watching. And this is generally a very big problem in itself. Yeah. And at this stage, you don't have any numbers for us. You just know there have been a number of fatalities in different parts of the country and, and injuries as well. At the moment, we are trying to tell you the, the fatality at the moment just to see where we stand, but we know it is quite high. It's quite high. That's not good news at all. Thank you very much, Russell. Russell Mayring, spokesperson for ER24.